Hey everybody, Akamatsu here, and welcome back to my Adapt series of the Killers and Dead by Daylight. Today, I got the Cannibal for you, aka Leatherface. Leatherface is one of my favorite killers in the game. Now, before you cry, Base Camp Bubba, I think we all do a disservice to Bubba, you know? While he can Base Camp and he's... The most effective one at doing it in the game doesn't mean all Bubba's face camp. I see this all the time. It's pretty annoying. Bubba is a killer I use a lot. I find Bubba fun. He's great. His adept took me two tries, both which we played on Midwitch, which I thought was funny. Uh, we ran his purple chili add-on just so we could chainsaw further and for longer. And we also brought his bulb add-on so we can change Saul more frequent. Luckily, we got Midwitch, where the only thing we have to worry about is really the windows and the two side offices, or I shouldn't say office, school, you know what I mean? So that was really the biggest issue. Breaking down the doors was pretty easy. I think we got a pretty good map for Bubba in terms of the adapt. I also brought an offering to make the hook spawn closer, and I really didn't even notice it doing anything, because for the most part, the hooks in Midwitch are pretty good. It's a small map. It's not that big. Uh, for his perks, Barbecue and Chili, goes without saying, is easily the most popular killer perk in the game, and I was happy to have it, but on Midwitch, it didn't offer me too much value because the map is so small. Which kind of sucks, but a double blood point. Not really helpful for the adept, sadly. And his his last two perks, knockout and Franklin's, I really don't see or understand a usage in a in, in a real world scenario for knockout in this game. I don't really understand it. Like the him, the the survivor on the ground being knocked out and not being able to see their teammates, and moving 50% slower. I don't really see the point because I, I feel most of the time with Bugga, bu Bugga, Bubba, since I don't use Infectious right and I try not to slug with him unless the two survivors are like extremely close together, say like working on the same generator. I don't really see how Knockout is really that great. Plus it only works on your basic attacks anyway. And I am a only use M2 Bubba, <laughs> you know, person. I no M1 here. So knockout didn't really see that much use usefulness, but I think it was better than some other perks on some killers that we'll be getting into. Uh, Franklin's, you know, Franklin's is okay. It's not, it's not bad. Again, only works on your basic attack. So kind of, kind of sucks. Uh, but definitely better seeing as, you know, toolboxes and uh, med kits are in the game and useful. But not really useful, you know, for my play style since I only use the chainsaw. Although it doesn't say it works on basic attacks here. Maybe they changed it. But let me know in the comments below. Uh, in general, how did Bubba feel? Right at home. <laughs> I was worried about not having corrupt on Bubba because, you know, if you get into a chase really early in the game and they make you waste a lot of pallets it can kind of help you but it can also go against you it gives their team time to work on gens you're right but it also eliminates pallets and can create possible dead zones or a dead map later in the game but midwitch being midwitch i think we got helpful not too many pallets on that map in general we broke the breakable walls i believe asap in the game and not having corrupt really didn't feel like an issue we ran into the survivors fairly easy had a dc unfortunately which it's kind of the norm against bubba but all in all it wasn't too bad it was i think it was pretty simple because i just use him a lot bubba is one of my most used uh, killers i really enjoy him so it wasn't too challenging i don't think another thing to mention without the meta perks bubba did not feel that bad it, i didn't really miss bamboozle I was worried about not having corrupt, but it didn't really affect my game. Not having pop or any slowdown didn't, wasn't really noticeable either. So uh, didn't feel too bad. Did not feel too bad. Uh, with that said, I'll leave you to my adept match, and uh, I'll see you all in the next Killer Adept series video. So 
Enjoy. <laughs> All right, game really wants us to get it done on this map. Wow, no, uh, no doors spawned on any of the doorways. Wow, we ran into two people and I instinctively went for the M1 instead of charge my chainsaw. Shadow, okay, so they got shadow step in play. That's going to make this a bit difficult. Yeah, this is not going to be as easy. Because now I can't tell where he went. Oh, but it doesn't matter if you find them. That's true, Intra. Okay. That's true. Although there's one thing that's off about that intro in this game. Can you guess what it is? One thing off. I want to see if you can get it. Damn, really? I was up there too, damn. You want the stage two? Figured it out, it was the hammer. Ah! <sighs> I really leave you beat, man. You didn't get to play the game that much. Ah! Alright. Plus I want points for I want I want more points for getting them later. You cheating me out of a hook. Oh, he DC'd. All right, well, never mind. I'm trying to M1 more because the game says I don't, I don't M1 enough. Ooh. Hashtag Bubba problem. 2020. Fucking shadow step. Really? I didn't think I was gonna hit. Follow the blood. Goes upstairs, follow the blood. I can barely see it. Now I have no idea where she went. That is a really good freaking perk, man. That is like, 
I don't think people are talking about enough how good that perk is. I, I completely lost it. That was smart to waste my time, I guess. That was a that was a smart idea. All right, this map is so small that I didn't have to go in the tantrum. Sweet. Where is she? Yeah, I didn't have to go in the, the tantrum and get it. Not bad, not bad. All right. Okay. Oh, she touched the generator. Oh, that's what was going on. Okay. This girl's name is Camp Me Step Bro. <laughs> I just realized her name. Oh my god. Come on, Step Bro. Can't be step, bro. Oh no. <laughs> like I am not the one that came up with it. I want Claire. Oh, well, they finished that one.
I want, I want, I want Claire though. I need, I need Claire. There's Claire. What was that noise? God damn. That, I've never heard her scream like that. Jeez. Alright, now we wait. She moved away from the gate. Nice. Okay, does she make it? She's not trying. I was afraid I was gonna hit the wall. This pallet. Okay. Hey. Now, if Claire doesn't have Unbreakable, this is, uh... This is a 4K, but since Adam... Since Adam, uh... She might have DS. No DS? Yeah, since Adam killed himself, basically. It's like a... It's like 10 hooks, but... Hey, we got the entire team. That has to be merciless. Come on now. That has to be. Hey, yeah. All right, merciless on Bubba. Nice. So sweet. Yeah, Adam DC'd when I downed him on the ground. Uh, that would have been 11. No, 10, because I, did, I, did, I never hooked uh, Adam twice. Hmm. And you know what? We were in another situation that if Adam would have not DC'd, his team would have potentially have gotten out. They look, look at the situation we were in. They had one of the exit doors, I assume 50% or 99. And there was two of them left at, like they, they were able to get all the gins done. And what, I think he DC'd at four gins. If he would have never DC'd, even if he would have died next gen, he would have still wasted enough time for me to, like, for someone to potentially get out, so. Him DCing early is what which is what really caused this team to all die. Him, uh, taking away one last, oppor one more opportunity of wasting the killer's time.